With the lab form it's possible to mix catalysts, additives and poly oils in different quantities for the forming process. With just a few clicks on the computer we can create new recipes with all the different components, send them to the machine and start testing. All the poly oils from the different poly oil tanks are combinated in one line according to the recipe. In the additive block, all the additives are added to the poly oil mix. The pre-mixed additives and poly oils are fed to the mixing head. Here, water, zinc and isocyanates are added and mixed. The finished mixture is then omitted. Through the high pressure process, it's possible to produce forms with CO2 as blowing agent and thus to substitute partially critical and environmentally harmful blowing agents. The separate additive and polyol tanks can deliver materials with viscosity up to 35,000 amperes, which allows us to develop forms with a high bio-based polyol content. It is therefore already possible to produce forms with a bio-based content up to 65%. We are working here at the um, University of um, Applied Science of Kaiserslautern on different uh, topics uh, for sustainable materials. And one main goal of our research is to make a lot of uh, or very high bio-based content in polyurethane formulations. We are using uh, biopolyols from different sources. Mainly, uh, our main focus is to use waste materials from, for example, uh, fatty acids or uh, tree glycerides or from sugars and uh, other waste, uh, bio-based waste. Um, there are many um, different topics to um, deal with polyol, biopolyols. For instance, one topic is the chemistry. The chemistry is uh, difficult because we have secondary hydroxyl groups and these groups are very slow in their reaction. And we have to overcome these uh, disadvantage of the biopolyols. Other topics are the sourcing of biopolyols because um, there are not many uh, materials uh, in the market or are commercialized. On the other hand, um, we have some topics concerning the viscosity of polyols. Um, at the department, uh, polymer department in Permasens, we are working on different research topics concerning sustainability. One topic is, uh, for instance, uh, to synthesize biopolyesters which can, can also serve as raw material for biopolyols. These materials have the advantage that uh, we can com uh, make compostable materials and therefore the recycling of polyurethane foams uh, would even be better. So you can imagine when you are at the university, you have to look around what is in a reasonable price range, first of all, but most important, all the things should fulfill the requirements. And for our project, it, it was crucial to find a pilot level producing machine for, in our case, uh, uh, soft block forms, slab stock reproduction, let's say, at smaller uh, scale in order to be able to scale up from small laboratory or even larger laboratory scale to pilot one. Of course, we did a lot of research prior deciding uh, for lab form. So there are several aspects to be stressed. 
first of all, the semi-automation of uh, this line, also independent metering lines, which could be operated in the manner you need and you can adjust the parameters. Also, a big uh, potential we have seen in the uh, CO2 forming uh, unit being not offered by many companies. And finally, the size of, of the pilot line was also uh, essential for us. So that's why after evaluation of all available data, we decided this could be the best option for us to proceed. So the beauty of this uh, pilot line is that we are not limited only to our project goal in development of soft and semi-soft polyurethane forms. This line is also able to process uh, raw materials for creation of rigid polyurethane forms. Uh, that means the application field could be much more broader compared to just to this uh, particular goal. And I can me imagine that even uh, some prepolymers, polyurethane prepolymers, or even other types of prepolymers, for example, epoxy prepolymers, could be processed uh, in this line, uh, or even uh, casting polyurethane uh, systems could be uh, developed. Yes, uh, it's really the case we have uh, some more responsibilities at our university, for example, development of uh, uh, hybrid non wovens based on natural fibers and basalt fibers as alternatives to uh, chemical glass fibers. The colleague uh, from the textile field is working successfully uh, on this topic and these materials are going to be used as a reinforcing materials for biocomposites, for sandwich structures, for example, uh, in automotive or even in construction sector. Uh, in addition, we also collect uh, data uh, related to sustainability assessment. We provide this data from our processes to uh, partner in the consortium dealing with sustainability assessment in order to allow all the necessary calculations for this. So the students are the most important for us because we are a university and we have to prepare skilled personnel for the industry. In, in the field of chemistry, polymer chemistry. And that's why uh, this uh, opportunity to involve the students in the research and development projects is very important for us because they have the possibility to learn in practical way uh, very important semi-industrial or pilot uh, level processes, for example, uh, working with lab form and that's why we are also implementing uh, such kind of equipment and machines in our learning process and uh, the students have the opportunity to be involved in our research projects and even to earn some small money for this uh, as a supporting students in, in the research and development projects and further on, the skilled, really skilled personnel could be provided to different uh, sectors in the in industry. In the case of polyurethane uh, processing, you know, the uh, polyurethane form marked is huge. And that's why the demand uh, for such skilled personnel is very high.